You see the four stops here? We're on the fourth stop, so it's out as far as it can go. And the wire rope assembly should be completely plumb. <coughs> if it isn't, you'll have difficulty in pulling the mixer up. The support cable will come up when we lift the mixer up. The power cable is coming up also, and you can hook it wherever you want, really. If you want, you can hook it up there, or you can put a little hook on the side, yeah, anywhere. The problem is there's not a lot of room over there, so. Now the important thing is that the power cable should not be near the propeller blades at all because that will nick it in very easily. The old one was where? Under that hatch? Under that hatch? I don't know. This is the old one. They didn't change it. No, they changed the position, didn't they? It's just a new hatch. Well, we did change the location. Yeah. Who, ch who changed it? Well, they used to be located over here. Yeah. We had a ton of that mix away is about 1,500 pounds, so... So if this cable snaps, this guy's lifting it like that. That so cable is, is more than strong enough to lift it. Yeah, but what about... It's the same as we bought a cheap cable that snaps while we're bringing it up. See, this isn't attached to anything. This is just going to tear right out of its hands, isn't it? We're going to apply it. If this cable snaps? Yeah. This one snaps and he's holding on to that. Well. This is the body. Well, he's getting old, ain't he? <laughs> uh, I'm going out to crash. <laughs> well, that looks much better. See how smooth it comes up? Yeah, give it, hardly, it hardly moves either direction. How do you pivot it? Oh, see the half moon at the top? Yeah. You can take the bolts out and actually move the mixer. Yeah, we can't. Right, whoever could, yeah. And this big round silver thing in front is the shroud. Okay, we're going to swing it out over this side. Remember, this is an old mixer. It's not a new mixer. It's one that was in there already. Yeah. Okay. okay, she did tell us how to do it, but I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, you back it up. Hold on, stop. And I don't want to, it's already set at the right angle to hit it straight on. I wouldn't, there should be no reason to adjust the height, swing it, hit it center mass. It's all, it's all stainless steel, so you can see there's very little corrosion on it. So see, you can put it down here, you can work on it here, or you can work on it here. I guess the first thing I want to do is pop that hatch on this. I'm going to swing it in first. Yes, I'll put it in this one. 
Okay, this is the tricky part, getting it back onto the mast. If you just lower it slowly. Yep. Hold on, one, one second, let's cope. We want to swing it out a touch. Yep. Swing it out a, it just a little bit. Say when. Bring it a little bit more. Uh, a little more. A little more. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, hold on. A little more. Just try to do this. Which way do you want to go? Um, we're going to want to board you or towards me? No, I can swing. Hold on. Yep. Keep okay. going. Okay. Drop. Go ahead, drop. Up. trying to torque yeah. this way. So we'll, Actually, we need to, just push it this way a touch. This way? Because it's off square. Okay, drop. Okay. You're right. Okay, good. Okay, stop for a minute. Okay, gentlemen, you see the power cable? The wire rope that goes along the power cable. You can see the cable holders holding it. That's the support cable. When the mixer reaches its desired height, that wire, that wire rope should be taut. Okay, not loose. Okay, but never use that, that wire rope to lift the mixer. It's not strong enough. You kill yourself. Only the wire rope assembly that's on the crane use. Could you use this for an emergency in case that no. broke? No, no. No, different, not the same size. So if that broke, you have to change the It whole shouldn't thing. break. I know, yeah. I mean, that's, that's three times the, that can lift three times the weight of that mixer. You gotta move that, you have to move that clevis. You have to move that. Well, let me see if I can get up. It may, it may ride over it. Let me see if we can pick it. It may jump. If it doesn't, we'll have to break it. Yeah, yeah. 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 lift it up. Anymore. Lift up a little. Up. Wrong. You're catching. You gotta go. Now you gotta pull it to our range. Go out? Go out. Push. Okay, now lift it. Okay, go down. All right. Does, but that will move a lot of liquid. But I, I leave it under tension on the wire because it okay. has a yeah. tendency to unfurl and slack on it. It moves a lot. Yeah, it moves a lot. I remember hearing that pump move the contents of the wire. You want to keep the load on the second wire. I just went down the fat on I think that one's not right. 40 you know, it's wound right now yeah, under, good. you know, yep. so it doesn't wind on itself. Yeah. Underwound up there. Guess I could save it. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, stick it somewhere like that. I'm getting cold white that Yeah. It's raw, but we can just... Like, right. Just Put it, just put them right on the cord instead of the. Well, this cable, not that cable. This cable. Right. Right now. You know, I'm going to be taking this apart anyway. No, Joe, for the time being, because I have to. I'm going to have to hook this and get the notch. Just for the time being, I'm just going to keep this as is. 
will have them. Uh, this has to be reset so you can shackle it and it's shackle. taught to there. So I, I'd say shackle the cable to the yeah. end of the davit frame. Yeah. You shackle that, that cable gets Well, yeah, I have, I, we can reset this. It's just crossbow clamps. Yeah. You pinch it so it, it hooks you know, right to here so it's taut at all times. Yeah. Yeah. You unshackle where we have enough slack to take it off. And then when the guy starts pulling it up, you have the it's second the rag that you caught on it, though. That's the... Yes. The rag. So the, Like I said, the hardest part is getting the mixer back on, but once you do it a few times, you'll be experts. 